I look really bad right now. Uh, I'm recording on my webcam, which sucks, as you can see in my glasses. I'm about to take them off because that's the sharpening that looks like I have in the eyebrow. So, um, this is just like a quick video. My dad came up for family weekend to my friend in college. So, as usual, I made him take my tour. So, um, First off, I, this is like a little haul, but, um, I tried to convince him to buy me a MacBook Air, or even a MacBook Pro. I kind of want a MacBook Pro more, now that I saw the Air, because it's too small for me, but I'll break it. Um, because my computer, we actually had to take in today because it kept turning off and, like, freezing, and, like, I'll be typing, I typed a seven-page paper, which made me really mad, okay? I typed a seven-page paper, and... My computer shut off and locked everything, and it was due the next day, so I was super mad about that. Um, so yeah, so we had to take it up there to get fixed, um, and it got fixed. It's just I'm still trying to make them do the kingdom of sin. It's making me think there's something on my face. Um, but I'm trying to convince him to my, buy me a MacBook, and he was like, well, because I was like, I'll give you my tax returns, which I'll get until January, and he was like, well... If you can wait until December, then I might get you one, if, uh, because then you'll have your tax returns. And I was like, I'm willing to wait. Yeah, I'm willing to wait, because I was like, he's had his for longer than me, and he has a Dell that's like a seriously that thick. So I was like, dude, I'll get a MacBook, and you can just have my old computer, which is fixed now. It's just they thought something was wrong with the hardware or the hard drive or some shit like that. I don't even know. But my dad understood, and I was just like, you're really cute, but shut up. Because he was so cute, but he was just like, I think it's time for me to change it. Anyway, um, but, yeah, and then I was like, as soon as they finished, I was like, Dad, just humor me and walk back to the Macs with me and look at him. So he was like, okay, I'll humor you. So we walked back there, and I showed him the MacBook Air, which was the one that I've been saying that I wanted. And he was like, well, I would rather buy you the MacBook Pro, which is, you know, $100 more, because it, the MacBook Air looks like you could crush it with your finger. Like, with, I could just pick it up. And the reason why I want a Mac is because it's so tiny. I mean, it's not tiny. It's my computer is, like, that thick or something. It's an HP Pavilion, and I've had it for, like, since my sophomore year in high school. And I'm a sophomore in college. And he, um, I have to do my clinicals next year. Probably next semester, but I'm not sure. No. I'll have to do them fall next year. So I wanted a small computer that I could take to class with me. And um, I would like one now, but I... I just can't afford it right now. So, um, he was like, well, I'd rather get you the MacBook Pro because it's not as tiny, but it's still tiny, but plus it has a CD drive. For some reason, he wants me to have a computer with a CD drive. Like, um, because apparently... Sorry about that. My roommate just came in. And, um, of the food that my dad bought me, I couldn't fit a pizza in the freezer because everyone else bought food and I didn't know what they were. So yeah, I was just telling that. Um, but anyways, my dad was like, "Well, once you have a computer with a CD drive or whatever, in case you need to install anything." And the MacBook Air doesn't have one, so he was like, "No." So yeah, he's like, "I'd rather you have the Pro." So um, he said. I want to wait until Christmas to possibly get it for me because I would give him my tax returns and which is probably like three hundred dollars, which isn't a lot, but oh well. Um, plus, I told him it could be my Christmas present for this year, next year, and my birthday present, and I'm trying to be an RA, so we saved him twenty seven hundred dollars anyway. So yeah, that out of the way. Um, these are just gonna be a few things that my dad and I got today. So yeah.
the first thing he actually surprised me with when he got here, he said that um, this lady sees a cop at a school, um, and um, this lady that works there makes jewelry, and she had her made me this, or make me this, and it has a peace sign, and it's really, really good. It's very jeweled, um, and it's blue. It has these little um, jewels right there. It's really pretty. I put it on earlier, and I really like it. But I have a different necklace on it now. I don't know if you can see it. It says my name in Hebrew. Um, so yeah. Next would be I went to the shoe department because I needed rain boots because it rains like a mofo where I live. So the first pair of shoes I got. Were these Converse's, which are just in Converse's, because my Converse's are over there, but I'll show them at the end of the video. But they're beyond destroyed, and I wear Converse's like crazy, so yeah, these are just plain Converse's. I was going to get high tops, but I was like, no, oh, so there you go. It was so mad, because... But he was so mad because when he was a kid, he could get him for like $10 or something like that. But now he has to pay like $40. Next, he got me these rain boots. They're Yeezy print. And they're pink inside. And it has a pink buckle right there. Um, they're by Capelli, New York. Yeah. These are five ten. And they still, I don't know if all rain boots are still weird, but they feel weird on me. But I desperately need it repaired, so. Next, I went to Walmart. And there's not many places up here that you can go shopping for clothes. So, I mean, Walmart's my only choice. And I needed jeans, which I get my jeans from Walmart anyway. I don't care what anybody says, but oh well, I get my jeans from Walmart, so what. These are by LEI. There's a silky, it's their flare. And they're the long, because I'm at all. But yeah, these are the best thing. My good jeans. And I have a pair like that already. So I knew that they were gonna fit me and stuff, so I didn't just try them on. Then I got two pairs of sweatpants. Because I do live in an apartment complex and have to go downstairs for laundry, so I'd rather wear sweatpants down there. And I don't have any, so I got two new low key sweatpants size. And they're by Hanes, maybe. Yeah, Hanes. The soft sweats, and they're really soft. But they're really pretty. Purple collar. It's called Bright Peacock. It's a collar. And I just got a pair of gray ones. And they're pretty long, so. Um. Next would be this shirt. And this is all from Walmart. I don't care what anybody says. I get clothes from Walmart. I don't care. Because I'm so tall that it's hard to find jeans that actually fit me. Because I have a I have a butt, but no stomach. As that as probably nobody will believe that, but I really don't have that big of a stomach. So it's in my butt and hips, so I can get pants to fit my hips. But it's still big in my stomach and I'm very tall. I'm about five eight. So I think it's too tall or long enough for me. And the one place I used to get jeans from was um goodies. But goodies just out of they're no longer a business anymore. So, yeah. I don't get them from there anymore. So, I found these jeans at Walmart and I was like, oh, I like them. So, oh well, and I have skinny jeans from that line too. So, yeah. And it's by No Boundaries, which is also Walmart. And it's a crocheted sack cozy. It's just like a little, like, cardigan, sort of. And it has this design on the back. And I got it in black. Because I needed a dressier top, which I'll wear that with like a v-neck um, for student conduct floor, which is this thing that I'm wearing in my school. So. And it, it's helping me be an RA basically. Like the clubs that I'm in. And I got this from Faded Glory. It's just a white jacket. Because it gets really cold where I live. And it has fur on the inside. Which I'm pretty sure that's fleece and I have to wash it because I'm allergic to fleece. I can wear fleece, it's just I have to wash it with medicine first. I'm talking really quiet because my roommates are out there, so I don't want to be weird. That'd be awkward. Um, yeah, two pairs of 
Okay. And he bought me a whole bunch of stuff for my apartment, so that's the stuff I'm not gonna show. Um, then I got this robe. It's just by George Sleepaway. I don't know. It's just a pink robe, which I need to wash too because it's bleached. So I can touch it. It's just I can't really wear it for a while. Then I got this jacket. This jacket I've had for a while, but my dad brought it up, so why not show it? And it's just it's like a uh. I don't know what kind of to call it, but it's, you know, I don't know. Um, got eye drops, as you guys know, I have really bad eyes. And my face is not black. Um, he brought me a Taken, because this is my absolute favorite movie. Um, he brought me up my pug. Um, brought me up my Are You There Vodka Pink Healthy and my Horizontal Life by Kelsey Hammer. Because I have my, um, Red Carpet Suicide by Brad Hilton and I really like it. So, yeah. My arm itches really bad. I'm slumber. I get slumber on my arm and on my chest and my arms are itching like crazy. And I got toilet paper, of course, because I already live in an apartment. And... Highlighters. I think also, um, if you don't know my eBay, um, I have an eBay account. I think it's Ashton Kate. It's the same thing as my um, YouTube name. And I'm gonna be selling this coach wristlet. Never been used. Um, my roommate last year brought it to me for a birthday present, but we are no longer friends. Um, actually. We got into a really big fight and are no longer friends and will not be friends. But I never use this because it's just heavy for me. And not a proper person. Um, but what I did is like it's still brand new inside. Um, what I did last year with this is put my social security card and my birth certificate like this. Stuff like like that in this and then I hid it in my like my dresser. So that's all, it didn't leave my dresser, it just had my cards in it, so, other than that, it's brand new. Um, I have, I have crap, I don't think he brought it. Uh, I don't think he brought it, but I had the coach bag for it, but he didn't bring it, I'll have him send it to me. So this will be up, going up on my eBay, I'm thinking I'm going to sell it for about 40 maybe, maybe. They run for about 60 to 70 I think. I'll have to ask uh, my best friend. So yeah. Um, I think I'm going to eat my pizza and watch the video pretty soon. So yeah, um, comment, rate, subscribe if you have any questions, just let me know. Have a good day.